This is code.org, and we are going to, well, let's see, the AP exams class. <laughs> Not like a class class, guys, like this one, like like this class. Eh, get it? I, I thought it was funny. AP exams class, obviously, analyzes data about AP CS exams and has an instance variable, that's this thing, right? The variable at the top of the class, it's accessible within the class, usually not accessible out of it, especially this one since it's private. Has an instance variable for the number of APCS exams taken. The method calculate sums returns the sum of all the values in a 1D array in the calculate sum method. All right, so, the method calculate sum returns the sum of all values in a 1D array, so it must be this array, in the calculate in the calculate sum method, declare and initialize a variable called sum to zero. Okay, well that one's easy enough. Uh int sum, I'm gonna assume that it's an integer, zero. Cool. Transverse the instance variable num test using an enhanced for loop. Alright num test is our instance variable way up there at the top now they say an enhanced for loop if i go down here guys i believe yeah let's use our resources so if you have forgotten there we are enhanced for loop i'm just going to copy that and paste it cool bam 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 all right now what's the data type well we have num test that's our instance variable right so i want that over here and now what's the data type of this? Well, it tells me next to the array. This is a list. It's an array of ints. So int. And I could say num test. I could say value. I could say num. I'm going to say num. This just represents each individual value that's going to be within this array. And it looks like these things. So, all right. Now, what do they want us to do? Add each value in the array to sum. Sum is equal to zero. Okay. So I'm going to say sum is equal to whatever sum used to be equal to plus num all right Ooh, i don't like this because it's close to the word num now so i want to be clear i'm going to do number just to make it really obvious that this is distinct now what this does guys is number is going to go through every value in num test and it's going to say sum has a new value. And the computer says, what? What value? And it's going to say, oh, oh, okay. So sum's next value is going to be whatever sum used to be equal to plus the current number, whatever this is. Bam, hits the bottom, back to the top. Okay, so if we are going through these numbers right now, we would only be right here. So, and now it says, okay, num test, is there another number? There is. So num would now be that number. We go down here, sum has a new value, what value? Whatever value it just was, plus the number, back to the top, bam. Oh, what did I break? Missing return statement, we are, okay, boop. And let's return sum, ah, sum, return sum. Anyways, uh, let me get rid of some of these lines, boop, boop, boop. And return is what's gonna spit out the value we calculated back to where this method's being called. Let's walk through real quick what's going on here. So in this, we create, we declare and define, we populate our arrays with these values. We have total test exam and female CS exams. We then have two instance two objects that are defined using AP exams. We pass total CS exams and female CS exams to the constructor. So each one of them will now have num test is going to be set what num test the instant variable so now using the constructor this references the instance variable up here and so we're telling the computer hey the variable that's accessible within each individual one right each individual uh object this object will have this these numbers this object will have this array the variable up here the instance variable is going to be assigned whatever value was passed num test says num test here because it is this one now this we have to distinguish from the value from the name of the parameter by the this param by the this keyword so it says hey the data that we give to ap exam save it up there <clears throat> all right now with that all saved we then call calculate sum calculate sum oh we don't yet though 
So we got to print system.out.print. And then I'm going to say, do they give us an example? Nope. So I'll just print out total stats dot calculate sum. And now I'm going to go ahead, copy that guy because it's going to be similar, except now it's not total stats. Now I'm going to go ahead and do, okay. Now let's see what this does. Oh, what do we got here? Female stats dot calculate sum female. St oh, and it mushed them all together. We could use print ln to always print a full line here and it would separate them. Bam. Well, that's one way. We could also fancify this a bit. I might put a string and say total stats, something like this. This isn't required, but I think it makes it look nicer. And then do a slash in for new line, quipowy. There we are. Cool. Oh, I didn't capitalize that S into before. Regardless, done and done. This instance variable does make code easier to read. It's pretty powerful. Onward.